Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Kwa and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're a brand new visitor to my YouTube channel, you may want to check out my other content. I do book hauls, reviews, unboxings. I talk about movies and comic books and video games. If uh, that's the type of thing you're into, you may want to check out my other content. And if you like what you see, do subscribe. Today we're actually going to take a look at the White Rabbit Chronicles, a book series I've, I've been uh, reading. Uh, the most recent one is right here, A Mad Zombie Party. I actually got the Barnes & Noble exclusive, which comes with an exclusive chapter. That's right. Just like how they do with movies and video games, you know, oh, you buy this, this DVD at, uh, at, at Walmart or Best Buy, you get the special edition with 20 minutes of extra features or the, like the steel book case or whatever. They do that for books too. Like, oh, you, oh you, I, I bought this video game at GameStop, I get extra bonus ex expansion packs, you know, ex ex exclusive DLCs or whatever. They do that for books. So this book <laughs> has an extra chapter <laughs> just because I bought it at Barnes and Noble. So whatever, okay? They, they do that all the time these days. Like I, I can't, I can't just go to the store anymore. I have to drive an extra, you know, half hour or so just to go to a specific store just so I can get the extra bonus chapter or whatever. Whatever. So the White Rabbit Chronicles. We're up to book four now. It is 2016 at the time of this video. Uh, it's from Gina Showalter. <clears throat> I hope I pronounced that right. Here, you have a picture of her in here. There she is. Okay. Uh, that's the author. And uh, if you, I, I originally picked it up because I thought it was just Alice in Wonderland with zombies. Okay. Because the original, the first book was called Alice in Zombie Land, and just like. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, I thought it was just like the same same story, but with zombies standing around in the background. It wasn't like that at all. It was a completely brand new storyline with new characters and, and you know new things introduced. Although it did take a lot of inspiration from Alice in Wonderland, okay? Like for for instance, they'll say things like a curiouser and uh, off with their heads when they're killing zombies and whatever. Here, let me give you like a little rundown on the story so far. Um, the story's about Allie. Alice Bell, okay, her family was killed by zombies, and then she's like trying to, you know, take re a revenge, you know, trying to avenge her, her family's death and stuff like that, and she won't rest until every zombie is dead, and uh, she like meets this one dude, his name is Cole Holland, and um, he's like the leader of the zombie slayers and stuff like that, right? And they fall in love and whatever, like the, the, the book is meant for teens, so there's like a lot of teen related Twilight BS in it, all right? So she falls in love and it's like the boyfriend <clears throat> with this cold, the leader of the zombie slayers. And there's like this evil corporation called the Anima Industries and they're like greedy and evil. <clears throat> and uh, was, they, the book was like, oh, the, the, see, normal people are more dangerous than the zombies and stuff like that. And this, they have to take down this Anima Industries the Skynet, <laughs> and um, <clears throat> uh, the anima in places doing horrible experiments on the zombies and stuff like that. And uh, later on, they can control the zombies, and Allie can then control the zombies, and then she can like uh, get into the spirit world and stuff like that. They had this whole, it's like a bunch of twists and stuff like that in the book. Um, <clears throat> and then characters that die, like her, she had a, had a best friend that died, and uh, it came back. Giving them the characters messages like Obi Wan Kenobi as a Force Ghost, you know, oh you gotta do this and team up with this team over here and go to Dagobah and seek out Yoda and stuff like that. Like they do that in the book, okay? Well, they didn't seek out Yoda, but you know what I mean. Like you come back as a Force Ghost <laughs> and hey, you gotta team up with these people or find this character or whatever, you know. And that's pretty much what it. <clears throat> so Alice in Zombieland, there's the cover in case you're curious, and uh. If you want, you can just read the back of this thing. There's book one's, uh, like, like, bio, whatever you want to call it. Here's Through the Zombie Glass, the second book. And if you want, you can read that. Hopefully it focuses. It's like, just, just, just pause the video if you're interested, okay? <clears throat> the Queen of Zombie Hearts. Okay. There's the front cover. And it looks like it's getting shorter. There's, there's less to talk about. And here's the newest one. 
Very attractive cover, by the way. <laughs> there it is. All right. So, that's what I know. Oh, here. It's really cool to take a look at the books without the, um, the, the, uh, the outside sleeve. Because they actually have some pretty cool looks to it, too. So, this one's a yellow book. The uh, book jacket. That's that's the word I was looking for. The jacket. <clears throat> there. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Look, looks good on your shelves, right? And it's got quotes on the front. You know? Like this one has off with their heads, you know? Referring to the zombies' heads. And if you're curious to see the size of the normal books, here, let me just pick it up a little bit. There it is. All right, that's what it looks like on your shelves. <clears throat> Who's willing to bet that the last book in the series is going to have a completely different side? <laughs> they always do that. Uh, oh, they, everything matches up until the last book. I remember they did for Star Wars DVDs and whatever. <laughs> But anyway, that's, uh, that's all, I have, all I have to say about Gina Showalter's uh, best-selling White Rabbit Chronicles. I'm trying to put this back in the jacket. Story. And yes, I do have paperback versions of these if you want. They're good books. I enjoy them. I'm a sucker for these things. It's a guilty pleasure, okay? Um, but it really has nothing much to do with the actual Alice in Wonderland story. Although, if you're a big Alice in Wonderland fan, uh, you can probably pick up stuff. You know, like uh, puns, little jokes, whatever. Little references here and there. So, if you're into those tween adventures, pick it up, check it out. I, I'm sure you'll, you'll enjoy it, okay? There it is, everyone. <clears throat> Ta-da! The White Rabbit Chronicles, the first four books. It is April of 2016. As I'm making this video, it is April 25th, 2016. I'm pretty sure they're going to make another book. I don't know, comes out later this year, maybe next year or something like that. Check it out when it comes out. Thank you for watching, everyone. Rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later.